Hi guys, Robert Bonshe here from Wizard of Light and I want to talk to you about fairy portraits. In our studio we do a lot of fairy portraits. We photograph uh, these events, their promotions called Fairy Day. We've been doing this for 14 or 15 years and we started doing them twice a year in our city, spring and fall. And two years ago we started doing them out of town in the fall, so this is our third year in a row. Uh, there's a small city 200 miles from here where we have friends who have a photography studio and we go there, set up our fairy day, uh, we promote it and uh, we collect the down payment for each of the sessions. Uh, basically they supply the space and the location. We go, we shoot, we sell day two, we show the proofs and uh, sell the packages and we split the profits, the net profits, with that studio owner. It's been very, very successful. So we've been having a lot of success overall with Fairy Day. And what I want to talk to you about is why does Fairy Day work? So this is more a marketing thing. So uh, you have to understand a little bit of the backstory. First of all, I've been doing them, like I mentioned, for 14 years. So it's not something that I would just all of a sudden start it. Now I see photographers especially newbies who have no real market position and such get out in the marketplace and think that they can just all of a sudden start to do fairies. It takes, like in any business, literally three to five years to get some traction. So if you expect overnight success, you're probably doing the wrong thing. You're probably barking up the wrong tree. So you want to be able to uh, take your time and work at it. When you photograph fairies, uh, there's uh, some expense involved. You've got to buy the props and the dresses and the wings, all that stuff in the backgrounds and the mushrooms. It's not cheap. A couple thousand dollars minimum. And then you've got to go into the marketplace and you've got to learn to sell. Um, because it's not a, well, you can do it if you want. I think it's really bad if you do a, a shoot and burn scenario. It, well, like you see with so many photographers, like, you know, $100, $150 we get X amount of files, which is complete and total bullshit. You're really shooting yourself in the foot. Listen, we do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sessions every year, fairies, families, executive sessions, uh, and it, we do not do ever do shoot and burn. And I know a lot of photographers who have that same model. The ones who do are living in fear. They're living in fear. They're afraid to sell. They're, they think that if they don't give the best value, that if they market strictly on price alone, let's give all the files for a cheap price, if they think if they don't do that, that they're going to lose business. That's fear. And they're wrong. So you, if you make a decision based on fear, you're really spinning in a circle and chasing after your own tail. You will not last in business. I guarantee you that much. Because it's only a matter of time before you to totally burn out. You're just going to totally burn out. It's not a business model. So. So I have to mention that when I talk about Fairy Day and Fairy Day promotions. The reason Fairy Day promotion works is the same reason when you look at all marketing strategies, when you understand marketing in any business, in any industry. You need to have a market, you need to have a message, and you need to deliver that message to that market, which is media. Okay? Too often people jump the first two and jump right into media thinking, oh, media is exciting, it's got lots of magic and, and lots of uh, glitz and glamour, and it alone will deliver the message to the market. No, it won't. That's false thinking. So the reason Fairy Day works is, is because it's a very tightly uh, niched market. Young girls, fantasy fairies, they love it. And uh, that's good. I mean, you want to find a market that's really hot for what it is you have to offer. Uh, so we've got that going for us. And then we create ads that speak to that market. Now we've had a lot of success lately with social media. We started years ago local newspaper ads, which by the way we didn't pay for. We did a contra deal with the local newspaper. It didn't cost us a dime. So if you're going to go big media, if you're going to spend a lot of money, that's very scary. You want to see if you can work it out. And it's not typically difficult to get a contra deal going when you're looking at big media opportunities. There's all kinds of opportunities out there, but more on that later. Just keep in mind that the important thing is, is that when you have the right market, the right offer or message, that it's much easier 
to get that delivered, especially nowadays with social media, email, blog posting. So, as well as delivering actual postcards to places where your target market hangs out, such as dance schools, gymnastic clubs, anywhere where there's a whole bunch of little girls. Think about it, where are they? So if you can affiliate yourself, which I have done over and over and over again over the years, successfully so. So a lot of this stuff I talk about and I remind people in my forum, photosuccess.com, and I talk about and share this information because I think it's valuable to understand and, and it's valuable for you to understand that when you're photographing something that is um, as dynamic and effective as, as a fairy session, that it's a great thing to add onto a studio uh, similar to my studio, which is not just a fairy studio, by the way, we do families and executive shots and weddings commercial, graduation, seniors, a uh, little bit of this, babies, newborns, a little bit of that, engagement sessions, all that good stuff. So it works in harmony together. But people know us in our city, oh, they're the guys that do those fairy portraits. Uh, people who come to us for weddings know, oh, they're, they're the ones who do those wonderful wedding images or baby images, or family images. So I want to be known as all of those, specifically, to many markets and some markets. So fairies work. It's, um, it's a very effective uh, strategy, and we're gonna keep running with it. We're branding our studio more and more into that area. Now again, I talk about that at great length. I don't have a lot of time to talk about it right now. I just want you to understand the core principles here that are working. You must have a market and you must have a message to the market, which is really what is happening here with the fairy portraits. And uh, when you put those two together, it really helps if you have a strong market position. If you don't have a strong market position, if you're not known, now you know what you gotta go get. Go get some market position. And that opens up an entirely new area uh, of uh, publicity, branding, okay, and branding, by the way, isn't just going to get a logo or a fancy letterhead or a cool email. It's not those things. Those are really surfacey things. Branding and publicity is grassroots. Getting out and networking in your community, delivering a great product. It's what you do and the uh, experience that happens between you and your client all the way up to what happens between you and your client and how they express that to their friends and how you react and participate in your local community. That's called networking. These are areas that I very much believe in. So when it, back to fairies, when it comes to marketing fairies, considering that all of this is in place, it makes it easier for me. And if you don't have that in place, now you know where you need to go. You got a bigger mountain to climb. Hey, I was there one time. Like, I literally was an unknown, and I got a little bit known, and then a little bit known. It takes time. You got to take time, man. You got to work at it. And the important thing is, is to remember to stay focused and to keep working at it over and over and over again. If you screw up, it's cool. It's called tuition. You know, you learn. If you mess up your session and you created crap, look at it, what did I do wrong? You know, you come to me, ask me, what did I do wrong? My marketing failed, what did I do wrong? And you take massive action towards fixing that to the best of your ability. And it really helps when you have somebody like me to coach you. So, anyways, that's how, uh, that works in my photography life and in my photography studio. And uh, who knows where it'll be in five years from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, I'm not sure. I'm just having a blast right now doing the thing that I love doing. I know photographers who are doing gangbusters in sports. I know photographers who are doing gangbusters in boudoir or in families or in the newborn baby uh, realm. Uh, so whatever area it is you're into, the same principles apply. Nothing changes. The same principles apply. It's all marketing, marketing, marketing. Push the marketing, man.
take massive action, and then you'll succeed. All right, thanks. If you have any questions, send me an email, put a comment in below, subscribe down there. And uh, we'll talk later. All right, thanks guys, bye now.